1 times 0 0.14. But again, decimals are the same as a fraction. So we should have the same rule. So I'm going to go ahead and convert my decimals into fractions. Seriously, I'm going to do that. So, tenths place. Here's 23.1 tenths place, so that's 231 out of 10. And then on this next number, that's the hundredths place. Hundredths. So let's go ahead and put that in the hundredths place. So that is 14 out of 100. Remember, I'm multiplying. It's like rabbits here. Whoop, getting out of control quickly. So we're going to go ahead and multiply straight across. So when I multiply, 10 times 100 gives me 1,000. So you'll notice what I have on the top, though. Bottom was easy. 231 times 14. I'm not even considering those decimal places. That is the beauty of multiplying decimals. I don't line up the decimal places because they don't matter. I already did the decimals. Thousands of ones. Done with that. So now, go ahead and look at the other numbers. So now I have 231 times 14. Isn't that a lot easier? I know how to do that. 1 times 4 is 4. Right? 3 times 1, or 4 times 3 is 12. 2 times 4 is 8. Carry the 1. I get 9. 924. placeholder here. 1 times 1 is 1, 3, and 2. So I have 4, 3, 12, 3,234. Okay, so that would be 3, 2, 3, 4. Just go ahead and write that up there in my fraction. I just multiply it straight across. Isn't that easier? Don't worry about the decimals. Okay, so I have 3,000. 234 in the thousandths place. So let's go ahead and see what that would look like when I convert it back to a decimal. Okay, so 1000 th thousandths place is three decimal places. I can tell because there's three zeros. I said it matches like that. So I have one, two, three. So I just count from the end, put it in three. 3.234 and I'm done. Let's put a box around it.